there are a number of very specific tasks to achieve MasterCAM certification. And I want to cover each of those items right now. So what you'll need to do in order to achieve certification. Well, the first thing you're going to have to do on the test is create a 3D wireframe of the complete part. You'll also have to create a solid model of the complete part. You'll need to create separate levels for the model and the wireframe. You'll also need individual toolpath groups for each setup. You will be machining multiple faces of the part and you will have a different toolpath group for each face. You'll need individual work coordinates for each one of those faces. You'll need to create a complete toolpath set for each setup. And you'll need to compare the final machined part to a standard. So that's essentially what your instructor is going to do, is compare your final part to a known standard that is a completed part. And that shows him that you've machined it correctly. You'll also need to include comments and toolpath descriptions for each toolpath operation. And finally, you'll create setup documentation of the entire process. Certification is a pass-fail test. You must complete all parts of the test successfully in order to achieve certification. As in real life, failure to design or create an NC program correctly will result in a crash and scrapped parts. Scrap is not acceptable. So if you get any one part of this test wrong, you will fail the test and you will not achieve certification. That's why it's important to pay attention to the detailed instructions regarding this test. Now the procedure for the test is broken up into two sections. The first section is part creation from a print. You'll construct the geometry and the solid model in MasterCAM. Designing of the part should take no more than an hour and a half. That's your time limit for the geometry part of the test. The second section of the test involves toolpath creation. So you'll create your toolpaths, you'll verify your toolpaths, and you'll also create your setup documentation. The time to complete all of this is two and a half hours. There are no points for finishing early, so take your time and make sure you get everything right. Even when you think you're done, go back and check all the details. So in order to do this, you'll need to know about reading a blueprint, wireframe geometry construction, solid model creation, process planning, work coordinate systems for multiple planes, creating toolpaths, and creating the process documentation, or setup sheets. The most important thing you'll need to know about is following instructions. 